Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? It's tea in my cup because I did not get my tea last night. And my body is not happy <laughs> because I was out at a group that we do every Thursday and it's called Church on Tap and it's where we go to a pub and we just grab some nachos, die a Pepsi and we uh, we chat, we just chat about how Christians should respond to current events and what our theology, how our theology shapes our responses. It's a really cool thing. And yesterday we were just kind of bouncing around all over, just visiting. Uh, often it will land that way, but we usually attempt to have a topic, you know. But yesterday there was no attempt to have a topic. We were just chatting. And so the kids came with me. And they sit at their own table and they discuss who knows what, Harry Potter and poutine. But I saw this conversation going and I kind of catch Hannah's eye. She's like, hey, mom, Romeo and Juliet is a coming of age story. And I'm sitting there thinking, and the, the gut studio reaction um, is, no, they didn't come of age, right? Because, spoiler alert, they died at the end. Um, and so she started to explain this and i'm like okay how many times have i read this dumb thing like because it's not my favorite play but it's the one that people go to and yet it reminded me of how we approach scripture right so if you have a concept of what romeo and julia is about in grade nine because that's where you first arrive at this play and your teacher is just giving you the basics to get you used to shakespeare Right, so that hopefully, if this is your bent, you will go that direction and you will build on it. You come back to this at 44, after spending a life reading things and growing and learning and whatever. This kid, this kid right here behind me, says something that like <clears throat> blows my head off because she has a different vantage point than I have. She's got a different world she's living in in high school. She sees things differently. She's got different people to talk to. A different professor, for instance. Same text, different viewpoint. So I sit there and I think, but they both died. They didn't really come of age. It's a tragedy because their love was unrequited and well it was requited and because it was requited it was forbidden and so because it was forbidden they took their own lives and it was awful it was heartbreaking the one that offered the poison to them was this priest and like there's so much there but there's more and this is why we must approach the holy text of scripture Sometimes we need to reread things and have a different understanding. And hey, guess what? Learn from a new generation that there's more. Anyway, that's my lecture for today. Here's why it's a coming of age story. It is a coming of age story for Capulet and Montague. Because the very last, yes, this is not a Bible. This is a Shakespeare book because I do read more than just the Bible. Um, they, they're talking. The guys are talking. So nobody in the whole play knows why they were arguing in the first place. Nobody. Just Capulet versus Montague. <sighs> right? Nobody knows why they were arguing. But what started as something, um, go with me now, what started was as something legitimate became something forgotten. And what was not forgotten was the fact that we fight, the fact that we argue. When we cannot see an enemy, we begin to make the other person the enemy. Are you with me? Are you picking up the metaphor of something that started in late 2019 and we couldn't see it? We knew there was results of it, but we didn't, we couldn't see it. And so we decided as a global community, we were gonna make the people that viewed this invisible thing differently, we were gonna make them the enemy. Anyway, this is not political. This is literature. All right. Capulet, 
Montague! See what a scourge is laid upon your hate? That heaven finds means to kill your joys with love. And I, for winking at your discords too, have lost a brace of kinsmen. All are punished. Capulet. Oh, brother Montague, give me thy hand. This is my daughter's jointure, for no more can I demand. Montague. But I can give thee more, for I will raise her statue in pure gold, that while Verona by that name is known, there shall be no figure at all such rate be set as that of true and faithful Juliet. Cap Capulet, as rich shall Romeo's by his ladies lie, poor sacrifices of our enmity. A glooming peace this morning with it brings. The sun for sorrow will not show its head. Go hence to have more talk of these sad things. Some shall be pardoned and some shall be punished, for never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. These two dads, they have no idea why they're arguing. They really don't. They think they do, and they make up a narrative in their head, and they pass it on to their kids. And what does it do? It kills their kids. The only, the only response to arguing, to divisiveness, to death, is love. These dads learned it. When it was too late, they'd lost their joys. Their joys came built to love. And they tried to manipulate their joys to hate each other. But their love was so strong, they said, no, I will not live in a world where I must hate simply to hate. We are killing our kids. Have a great day. <laughs> Sorry, I just had it said that way because I have eyeballs watching me on the other side of the computer today that are not belonging to a cat. But seriously, it's a coming of age story and are you gonna come of age or are you just gonna keep going? Are you Welcome. Montague, are you Comp Capulet? This is the English story brought to you by Hannah. I'm just the puppet, mm -hmm. but she's the one that's the teacher. Her whole class that had this discussion to figure this out. Are we going to grow up or the whole table? It's just you? It was just me. Oh, it was just her. She didn't even talk about it with her friends. It's like she enjoys mm -hmm. literature or something. This is weird. Yeah, like, it was a split second thing. Me and Jimmy were at the table. See there. what happens when you think and discuss and you just... Yeah, Jimmy asked. Put a screen down? What, your brain starts working. Guess what theme Romeo and Juliet was? I'm like pushing all the buttons. Today. Oh, actually, the theme was it was coming of age story. See? Don't worry about plot. Plot will carry on. It's the theme that needs to be discussed. So make your theme one of love today. Know that I love you. Mwah! Don't wait till it's too late to tell somebody you disagree with that you love them too. Bye.